Welcome to a tutorial on how to play Pinochle. For this tutorial, I will be using cargames.io as the website where we're going to be playing. And because of that, we are doing uh, four player Pinochle with partners. With four player Pinochle, you have a 48 card deck. So it's um, the cards nine through ace, like a high ace. So nine, 10, jack, queen, king, and ace and two decks of those cards. So there's two of each card. There are two basic parts of Pinochle, um, the melding and then the, play, the game play. The melding is when you deal out the cards and you look at your cards and decide how many points you think that you have. Now, to show you the point system, I'm gonna pause on the game and scroll down. Again, I love this website. Um, because it has all of this information. And here is a list of some of the different melds, and then I'll scroll down for the rest of them. There. The melds are basically runs in Trump, the nine of Trump, um, the king and queen of Trump, or king and queen of other suits. Then we've got our class two melds, which are the pinochle, jack of diamonds, queen of spades, a double pinochle, and our third class of meld, which is um, types, or four of a kind, or eight, all eight, jacks, queens, kings, and aces. That's basically what you're looking for. Now back to our game. If I'm going to call anything as Trump, it would probably be um, clubs here. And I have almost everything to make a, a run in clubs. If I got a jack, then I could, you know, have that. So I'm going to bid. Yeah, bidding starts at 250. I don't want to let her get it for 270, so we'll see if she'll go up to 300. Oh, man. This is going to be close. Depends what my partner sends over to me, really. All right. Let's, oh, man. She's really bound and determined. I'll try it. Why not? And I'll make it clubs. Now, when I make the suit clubs, what happens is my partner then sends four cards over my way. And look at that. I got everything I needed here to get a run in clubs. That's worth a lot of points for a meld. So that's great. He didn't have an ace of diamonds. That would have been four of a kind, which also would have been helpful. But that's okay. Now what I get to do is send him back four cards. That's why I wanted so badly to take this trick, so I can show you all of the different parts. So he sends me four cards. I decide which cards I'm going to keep, and then I throw back to him um, some other cards. I'll just pass him those ones. Now when you are playing, um, they, the order is ace is high, then ten, then king queen, jack, nine. So this is actually a good card. That would actually be a winner in hearts. So I'm going to send him the king and see how this goes. We should do fine. The game automatically calculates your score if you are playing with a um, with this computer. But just so that you can see, I, would, I had two nines in Trump, so that would be 10 points each. I also had the run that I showed you in Trump, so that's worth 150 points. Bill had a, a diamond marriage, so that was nice. That got us an extra 20 points. Our opponents had a whole bunch of marriages and a pinochle, looks like. So they got um, 120 points for their melds. Now we're going to start the second part of it, which is the actual playing. And to do that, I get to lead. Ace of spades, or ace of clubs, I'm sorry, is Trump and the highest, so that's a winner. But I also have some other winners here that I'm going to throw out first because I assume people have um, a little bit in every suit at the beginning. And you gain points in this round, 10 points for every ace, king, or 10 that is in the trick. So if I have an ace, um, there's a king, so that trick was worth 20 points. There's a total of 250 points that can be gained during this play time. Um, we did say 10 is the next winner. Ooh, she trumped it. And that's another rule that's in here. If you have Trump, if you will, you have to follow suit. 
And if you don't have that suit, you have to trump it. I'm going to drop um, this 9 on here. Let Lisa take that. Oh, she got my loser. That's too bad. All right, now I'm going to trump her ace. Now I'm going to start by playing an ace. And if you have trump, you have to follow suit. And also, if you can win, you have to win. And that's a little bit frustrating when your partner is winning, but that's another rule um, in P-Knuckle that you do, if you can win, you have to win. And the final trick, which we have here, is worth an additional 10 points. So I got 10 for the ace, 10 for the 10, an additional 10, 30 points just for that last trick, giving us 180 out of the 250 points for the trick. And we basically made our bid, which was good. It was close. That was a high bid. So we made 330 points, got our, our, our bid, got our extra points. Bill and Lisa got 120 from their meld, 70 from the tricks. They have to get points in the meld, or they have to get points in their tricks, like in our playing round, for them to be able to earn the points from the meld score. So that's the basics of playing Pinochle in about six, six and a half minutes. The game goes until one of the teams gets 1,500 points. If you make a bid and you do not get that bid, then you will go negative the amount of your bid, the total bid amount. So if we bid in this round 330 and we only got 320, we would go negative 330, the full bid amount. Um, I think that's about it. There are some more subtle rules um, in there. If you do play on this website, um, cardgames.io slash pinochle, I'll have the link in the video description below. But you can definitely um, check out the rules up here and switch out with options. But that's Pinochle. It's a fun game. Enjoy. And I hope that that tutorial was helpful for you. Pinochle in seven minutes. Have a wonderful day.